Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Congregational Church of Littleton. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are welcome here. Well, welcome to Wondering Wednesday this evening. My name is Michelle Rollinson, and I'm the Christian Education Director at CCOL. We are going to continue reading our Jesus Storybook Bible tonight by Sally Lloyd-Jones. Let's see what story it is. Ah, God's Wonderful Surprise, The Resurrection from Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 20. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again. How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer? The king God had promised? It wasn't supposed to end like this. So in the story, it's telling you they're sad, right? They're feeling a little sad right now. Yes, but whoever said anything about the end? Just before sunrise on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright. The angel rolled the huge stone away, sat on top of it, and waited. Whoa. Hmm, how would you feel if all of a sudden an angel just showed up like that? The earth shook, and there was this angel. They were scared. At the first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other woman headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the ancient olive trees. Drops of dew glittered on leaves and grasses. Little tears everywhere. The friends walked quietly along the hilly path through the olive groves until they reached the tomb and immediately noticed something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening into the dark, into the dark tomb. But wait, Jesus' body was gone. I wonder how the woman felt walking up to that tomb and seeing that the stone was rolled away. I wonder what was going through their minds. And then to look inside and see that Jesus' body is gone? What do you think they were thinking? Take a minute and think about that. Let's see what happens next. And something else. A shining man was there with clothes made from lightning. Shining man? I wonder who that is. Don't be scared, the angel said. But they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. The angel asked them, What are you doing here? This is a tomb, and tombs are for dead people. The woman couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. And their hearts leapt. And then the angel laughed with such gladness that they felt for a moment as if they had woken from a nightmare. Whoa! Jesus is alive again, so their hearts slept with gladness. I wonder what it would have felt like to hear those words, to be in that tomb with the angel and have them say that to you. The other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then Mary heard someone else in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she thought. He'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was. And he had found her. Mary! Only one person said her name like that. She could hear her heart thumping. She turned around. She could just make out a figure. She shaded her eyes to see and thought she was dreaming. How do you think Mary was feeling right now? It says that she could hear her heart thumping. She only knows one person who says her name that way. But she wasn't dreaming. She was seeing. Jesus! Mary fell to the ground. Sudden tears filled her eyes and great sobs shook her whole body. And all she wanted in that moment was to cling to Jesus and never let him go. You'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary, Jesus said gently, and always be close to me. But now, go and tell the others that I am alive. 
Whoa. I wonder how she's feeling right now. Let's read on. Mary ran and ran all the way to the city. She had never run so fast and so far in all her life. She felt she could have run forever. She didn't even feel like her feet touched the ground. The sun seemed to be dancing and gleaming and bounding across the sky, racing with her and shining brighter than she could ever remember in the clear, fresh air. And it seemed to her in that morning as she ran almost as the whole world had been made anew, almost as if the whole world was singing for joy. The trees, tiny sounds in the grass, the birds, her heart. Was God really making everything sad come untrue? Was he making even death come untrue? She couldn't wait to tell Jesus' friends. They won't believe it, she laughed. She was right, of course. Wow. Mary's running. She can't wait to tell everybody. How do you think she's feeling in that moment when she's running and she's leaping for joy? What is in her heart right there? What is she feeling? And she can't wait to share the news that Jesus is alive that he is there with them. That was a great story. Next week we will read another story. We're coming near the end of our Jesus Storybook Bible. I think we will be done with it by the end of February. Well, everybody, I hope you have a great evening, and I'll see you guys all next week for Wondering Wednesday. Good night.